This video will demonstrate how to reconnect your ArcScan Wi-Fi printer to a new, changed, or updated Wi-Fi network using a Mac computer. ArcScan's YouTube channel offers free help and tips for label printers and other e-commerce technology. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. We will discuss how to reconnect the printer to the network, remove the old printer driver, and then reinstall the printer driver. First, make sure that the USB cable is connected to both the printer, your computer, and that the printer is powered on with a blue light on top. The USB cable is only for setup purposes and it can be unplugged once the installation is completed. To get started, we need to use the web tool to configure the printer to connect with your Wi-Fi network. Using the Chrome web browser, go to the website arcscan.com app. Click on the gray printer icon to connect your printer to the app. When prompted, select your ArcScan printer model from the list and click connect. If you have a successful USB connection to the computer, you will see a green printer icon, as well as your printer's model and serial number listed. Click on the Wi-Fi tab. Click on the check current setting button at the bottom of the page. Verify that DHCP is chosen. If it is not, then please select it and click on the Update Setting button. Click on the button labeled Scan. This will scan for the Wi-Fi signals around the printer. This list shows all of the Wi-Fi signals detected by the printer. If your network is not listed, please verify that the Wi-Fi signal you are wanting to join is using a 2.4 GHz signal and not a 5 GHz signal. Select the name of the Wi-Fi network that you want the printer to join. This must be the same network that your computer is also connected to. Now, in the empty box, type in the connection password for that network. Click Connect. The printer will beep once upon successful connection to the network. You will also receive a success connection message at the top of the screen. Now, we highly suggest setting the printer's IP address to static instead of DHCP so that your computer can permanently connect to the printer with the same unchanged IP address. DHCP will work until your Wi-Fi network reassigns a new IP address to the printer. To set the static IP address to the printer, write the printer's assigned IP into the static IP address box. Click the static selection button and then the update setting button to save. The printer will beep once these settings are saved. You can verify that these settings were applied by clicking on the check current setting button. The printer is now joined to your network. Please unplug the USB cable from your computer and the printer before proceeding. Next, we need to remove the previous installation of the printer. Click on the Apple icon in the top left corner, go to System Preferences or System Settings, Printers and Scanners, click to highlight the ArcScan printer, and depending on your version, either click on the minus sign or remove printer. Now we need to reinstall the printer driver by going to arcscan.com driver. After you have run the driver installer and completed all of the steps, Go to Printers and Scanners again to see if the ArcScan printer was automatically detected and added to the list. A successful Wi-Fi installation 
will have the word Wi-Fi after the model number. If our content has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel where we will continue to offer free tips and help for our label printer users. And be sure to click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of our future releases. And please use the add comments section below to contact us with your questions or feedback. Thank you.